Hello guys, this will be the third and the final video, at least for now, about Benjamin blog, which has been open sourced. And today I wanted to quickly show you a helper class. So it's a common question in Laravel where to store some method or some class, which is just a helper that could be reused in many places kind of like a global helper, it used to be called this way. And again, as usual in Laravel, you are in full control of placing it wherever you want. And I wanted to show you the version of Benjamin. So there's a tree generator. I'm not even entirely sure what it does, but it returns an array of content per level. And this is one class, one static function, which is used in the model of post in the attribute. So there's a tree attribute of block post, which uses that tree generator as a static method of generate with some parameters. So let's reiterate step by step. You create a file app support tree generator, a class support folder is not from Laravel. So you can create a folder and you are free to call it app support app helpers, maybe inside of some other folders, like it could be app models support, for example, just watch the namespace that it would be identical to the folder. And then inside of that class, you can do whatever. And if it doesn't need any more context, you can call it static method. And then from wherever you want to call that helper, you just call it as class name, static and function. That's it. You don't need to register it anywhere. You don't need to inject anything anywhere. It's just a static class with one method. One of the counter arguments would be why have a separate class just for one method? Could it be just app helpers PHP file without any class with just one function? And it reminds me of WordPress. WordPress is famous for a file called functions.php with all the functions listed in one file. Of course, you can use includes and divide them into separate files, but by default, there is a huge functions.php. And this is quite a bad pattern. That's why I'm a big fan that every method should have some kind of class and belong to some structure. So it's one method for now, but this structure is telling us that it's a tree generator with potentially more functions in the future related to generating the tree. So even in the case of global helpers, I would do them as classes. The only question is where to put them. And as I said, Benjamin is calling it app support. Other people I've seen call it app helpers or app functions, whatever. That's your personal preference. And in the past, I have seen so many questions about specifically how to structure Laravel projects that I had created a full course to our video course, which became number one popular course. So on top of Laravel daily com courses, there are three most popular courses in terms of amount of students. So this is by far number one, the most popular with those two other courses in the top three. I discuss helpers, global helpers there as well. And also other topics that you see in this thumbnail of this course, services, action, traits and others. So I do recommend you to go through that course to have the full picture of how you can structure Laravel projects. But in general, as an example of Benjamin blog, you are in full control and it's your decision and it's your preference how to structure Laravel projects. What do you think about this approach by Benjamin? Let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.